Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beings who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, plop on your headphones. However, this video does contain a trigger warning. This ASMR will contain some loud noises, harsh arguments, and the mentions of a traumatic past. If you find that stuff very sensitive, then click off immediately. To the ones who are alright with it, um, enjoy! Hello, my lady. I haven't seen you all day. I've been looking for you since breakfast. You never showed up downstairs. I've only seen Hannah and the triplets clean, and you were nowhere in sight. I even called for you. Never got your response nor presence. Why am I telling you this? Well, it's obvious. Hmm. You're not wearing a maid's uniform. It's a rather lovely dress on you. Very lovely. Your hair also. Hmm. All dolled up. Tell me. Where have you been all day? I didn't order you to go out on your own. Whenever you're out, it's only with me or Claude. Why were you out without my permission? Hmm? Uh. <coughs> Don't you dare walk away without answering my question. I would literally punish you. If you don't spit it out, answer me. Are you asking for it? Because I won't regret it. That's what I thought. Now, I'm going to ask you again. Where have you been all day? Downtown. Why were you around town alone? Why I want to know? Because I said so. Shut the hell up and answer me. Why did you go alone around town without me? Wait. That scent. I recognize that somewhere. Were you with the Phantom Hive? Don't look down at me. I know that rich scent. Were you sneaking out of the manor to go fondle around with that little brat? Why see him when you have me as your master? Do you prefer him? Over me? I'm not turning red. Uh, uh, no. Uh, get out of my sight. I don't want to see your face anywhere near me. Go! Why would she prefer Ciel over me, after all I've done for her? Why didn't I confess sooner? I bet she hates me now. Master, I have brought you some. Claude? 
Yes, master? Bring in listener. I want to speak with her in private. Yes, your highness. My lady, Master Trancy would like to speak with you in his bedroom. I shall take you to him. Come. Master, I have brought the lady. Thank you, Claude. You may leave us, as you wish. Please, sit down. <sighs> Lady listener, I want to apologize for my actions aimed on you. I... I never meant to hurt your feelings like that. Seeing your scared expression made me feel feel guilty and almost like I'm a monster to you. It's just that I was just worried about you and I fear of losing you and I don't want to lose a person who I grew fond with. Ever since you came to the manor to become my new maid, I have never smiled so brightly to anyone else, not even to Claude. Sure, I've been putting on fake smiles and a fake personality, but for you, it was real. When I saw you follow my orders, you do it. And you never fail to me. I have never seen anyone smile so happily. Almost like you're more than better off here. You are so nice to others. Always carrying a bright smile. It makes me feel sick. I always wonder... Do you prefer being with the Phantom Hives? Is that why you were gone all morning? Uh, no. But then, why were you with Ciel? Why did you... Uh, I see. You used to be his maid. You two just bumped into each other. Hmm. At least that's nice. Ah, uh, jealous? I'm not jealous. I just... Uh, stop laughing. Uh, shut up. Look, I know this doesn't sound appropriate. But it appears I need to get this off my chest. Lady listener, I like you. Yes, I said it. I really do. You know what? Scratch that. I don't like you. I love you. Ever since you stepped into my manor, I thought you were the most beautiful butterfly I have ever laid my eyes on. I hid my true feelings from you because I didn't want the others to find out, thinking it's forbidden for a master falling for his darling maid. For most of my life, I have witnessed evil 
despair, betrayal, and death. When I love something or someone, I lose them completely. Almost like bad luck is following me around, making my life a living hell. I was surrounded by darkness, blinded by the ones who used me for the sick needs, the things they do. <laughs> but then you came along. When I first saw you, you were the light. You were my little guardian angel who saved me from the darkness surrounding me, living free together as one. I'm sorry if you don't feel the same way, my lady. I am all right if you reject me and my confession to you. I understand. Huh? My lady? What are you... What's going on? Why are you hugging me? What? You feel the same way for me? You love me as well? <gasps> My lady! You... <laughs> oh my god! You have no idea how much that means to me. <laughs> you made me the happiest boy on earth. Do you really mean it? <laughs> yes, I'm very happy. This has never happened to me. I finally have found something that I would never forget. True love. Come here, darling. Thank you for existing, my lady. Yeah.